Hello friends, this is Abhishek Agarwal here and in this particular tutorial, I will be showing you how to make a spur gear in Katia V5 by using parameters and formulas. So quickly, um, so before start with the actual design, let me quickly show you the profile of teeth, which is right over here. So as you can see, there are four circles here, that is addendum circle, pitch circle, clearance circles and, and redundum circle. Uh, what we are going to do here is that uh, we will be defining two variable parameters, that is a module and number of teeth and we'll be representing each circle's radius in terms of these parameters. So we can have a gear of any size and any shape by changing just these two parameters. Uh, so we don't need to st uh, start from the scratch every time. So let's go back to the workbench and start with the design, that is part design. So name the part as spur gear parameter. So yes, here we are. First of all, we'll define uh, the number of parameters that we need in our sketch. So quickly uh, go to formula list here and define a parameters. The one would be of real type. Uh, create a one parameter of real type and name the parameter as n and the value is 25. It is for our number of teeth. The other parameters would be of length type. So name this parameter as m and the value would be 3.5. Uh, make one more parameter of length and give it as name R, rp that is a radius of pitch circle and we will have to add a formula for this. So we have a list of formula over here. You can also see at your screen. So this is a list of formula and this is a formula for radius of pitch circle. So yes, you can see the value is automatically calculated here. Uh, we'll define one more parameter. We'll give the name as RB. We'll add a formula for it in a similar way from here. So this is for RB. Uh, one more new parameters for radius of addendum circle that is RA. Add a formula from here is rp plus m so this is the value for ra and the last for parameter is for rd radius of redundum circle add a formula from here and paste it here so yes here we are uh, all new list of parameters with their values we will be applying it to our workbench and we'll start with the figure with the yz plane over here first of all we'll make a base circle as well as the pitch circle so select a circle command over here and quickly draw two circles uh, just give a dimensions to this circle Now uh, we'll be uh, applying our parameter RP to this pitch circle's radius. So the radius would be automatically calculated and adjusted as you can see here. Same thing with the uh, base parameter radius also, base circle radius also. So give a RB to this particular radius and the value is automatically calculated. So here we are uh, with our with uh, base circle as well as the pitch circle. Uh, now what we need to do, we need to create two construction line over here like this, and the angle between these two lines would be uh, 20 degree, as it is a spur gear with a pressure angle of 20 degree. We need to define an angle. We'll we'll uh, draw one more construction line which is a vertical line and the angle between these two line we need to define by a formula so we'll right click on it go to edit formula and the formula is 90 divided by n into 1 degree so yes, the formula is 
value is automatically calculated here as you can see now you might be thinking why i have used uh, 90 divided by n into 1 degree so we need to go back to this particular figure as you can see here um, the distance between this point and this point is called as diametral pitch which is always around the pitch circle and the angle covered by the diametral pitch is always 360 divided by n where n is number of teeth so now as we know that uh, the clearance width that is the distance between two teeth and the width of teeth is always same so the distance between th this particular point and line is same as distance between this particular line and point which is 360 divided by 2n now uh, if we draw an um, angle bisectors as this one this small part of angle would be 360 divided by 4n that is a 90 by n which was our formula so actually what actually we are uh, trying to do here uh, we're trying to locate this point on our sketch so that we can have this particular figure so quickly go back to our workbench which is right here now we need to draw a circle to get that particular profile uh, with this center and up to this particular point so now quickly um, make these two circles as construction line and as well as hide them as we don't need them now uh, we'll be proceeding with uh, remaining two circles that is addendum circles and did addendum circle this would not be construction so draw two circles let's quickly give them a dimension like this uh, we'll be applying uh, make sure to select the radius over here we'll be applying uh, our parameter r a to the addend addendum circle is yes. and rd to the addendum circle as you can see here so yes here we are completed with the uh, two circles now we we will quickly erase the unwanted parts So we need only this profile which is our gear tooth profile we don't even want this circle and this this particular line so now as you can see here uh, the half tooth profile over here uh, we can define a fillet radius also between these two curves and the fillet radius would be uh, 0 0.39 into module so yes you can see the fillet radius is automatically calculated over here now we'll be uh, mirroring these uh, figure with respect to this line so select this line this particular curve and this fillet curve and select a mirror command and quickly mirror it so as you can see here now we need this point and this point to be coincident like this so here we are uh, complete with the first tooth of our gear uh, we'll exit from this sketch and we'll use a pad command with a mirror extent of 10 mm each side and we'll pad it so yes here you can see the first teeth now we need to use a circular padding command to make a number of teeth so you go to circular pattern over here first of all we need to uh, we need to show our sketch which is hidden here and we need to select this point this line 
this line this curve this flat curve as well as this flat curve we need to um, make it circular over the profile so now we will go to circular pattern we will select the complete crown figure from here and the instances would be our number of teeth that is uh, n and the reference element would be our x axis and this is the current solid so give a preview okay so here we are completed with our uh, with this per gear of uh, 25 uh, 25 teeth with a module of 3.5 so if we hide the sketch we can see here now one more thing that we need to do is here we need to create a hole for the shaft so quickly select this yz plane over here go to sketch um, make any circle with the comparatively smaller radius than the base circle like this and use a pocket command with a mirror extent of 10 m each side so yeah this is our complete spur gear uh, with model 3.5 and number of t25 uh, as you can see here now if we need to change the number of teeth or the model we can do it from the formula toolbar over here what we need to do is uh, we need to provide a value new value over here let's say 40 and let's take m as uh, 2 and if we apply a formula it is getting some time uh, to update so yes here we are uh, completed with the new figure so now you can see uh, it is very easy uh, to change the uh, uh, shape as well as the number of teeth on profile uh, so this is it for this particular tutorial uh, thank you for watching in case of any query clarification or doubt uh, please feel free to comment below you can also write to me at abhishek.a32 at the rate of gmail.com and if you like my video uh, please subscri subscribe it so that i can make more and more videos uh, to learn katya v5 so till then thank you very much stay tuned